Hi guys, uh, I'm trying right now an app called Object Viewer for MerchTube. MerchTube is an accessory uh, that you can buy. Uh, it's actually a cube with uh, uh, markers on it that uh, allows you to use a certain type of apps, the apps that were designed specifically for it. Um, skip, I don't need an account, let's skip it. All right, so we already have uh, some uh, objects that people share, so let's try to use them. Uh, let's uh, use this one. It's downloading, so you can just choose and download. I've already set up my, I'm set up, my match group is already on the table. Oh, and this is it, match group. So, look how beautiful it is. You can just hold it, hold the 3D object, and it's very easy to manipulate it. I'm actually searching for an app that can teach uh, uh, kids, uh, beginners to 3D, you know, uh, how, how what the 3D world is about, what is there's that access and just by using the Merge Cube. Anyway, you see, it's a, a simple model. You see a Merge Cube at the top, it's probably uh, the uh, one anniversary of Merge Cube, I think. It's a cake for it. It's pretty cool. Right, let's put it on the table. Let's try to load another thing. Um, uh, oh, yeah, this one. This one is the fighter. A fighter model, 3D model. So here it's actually um, small, so uh, the designer just hide it, uh, put uh, a cube, a virtual cube that covers the entire facets of the merge cube uh, with just a black surface and put a 3D model inside. As you can see, you can rotate it, see it from different angles. Let's put it on the table. So let's see what other objects we have. Um, oh, we don't have a lot. So this is a box, let's try it out. Let's download it. Of course, you can bring uh, your own objects. So this is the same thing. Let's take a closer look, you can rotate it. It's very easy to rotate a 3D model like this. You just hold the cube and rotate the cube and it rotates uh, the 3D model in the same way. All right, let's try another one. Oh, this one I actually remember. This is from one of the experiences, if I'm, yeah, if I remember correctly. I think so. Yes. This one is uh, animated. It's cool, right? But I prefer models that are larger, that uh, cover the cube. But uh, this one is pretty cool. Uh, this is uh, a, a little guide uh, about the app. As you can see, uh, Object Viewer for Match Cube allows users to view up, uh, uploaded 3D objects to, um, uh, on Match Cube and share those objects with others. All right, so okay, so what we need to do okay, so I need to upload my oh okay, I need to upload the models to the portal, and then they will be accessible uh, through the app. So I get a code and I put the code and it just uh, grabs it uh, from the cloud. All right, I understand. And this way you can share it. So uh, you just upload to the cloud and if you want to share it, just give the other person the code and they can view it uh, with the app. So pretty simple, right? So what I'm doing right now, uh, I'm importing an SVG file of the AirKit badge and icon I, because it doesn't recognize USVG so I can use the trophy. So let's try to import uh, this one into Vectory. I'm using Vectory. It's an online service for uh, um, uh, ad, uh, modeling, uh, uh, modeling in 3D. So let's do it. So now the 3D model, uh, the SVG one that I imported, uh, impo imported, sorry, uh, into Vectory, uh, I'm gonna 
um, export it as um, let's see uh, the uh, miniverse uh, uh, object importer accepts suppose the format uh, FBX, OBJ, STL, uh, DAE, Blend, uh, GLFT, and ZIP. Now, Vector have a few, uh, has a few exporting options, so I export it into a 3D file and uh, I can export it STL. You know, uh, yeah, most of the three of them actually are supported by the no. Uh, STL, GLTF, and uh, yeah, only two, I think. Yeah, only two are supported, as I can see. So I'm going to uh, export it as a uh, STL. So let's do this. Oh, I can, I, oh, I can export it actually as OBJ and DAE, sorry. But I need to upgrade the... Uh, to upgrade the service um, in order to use it. So, but I'm going to use STL uh, uh, right now. Uh, now the file is ready. It's on my, it's on my computer. So what I need to do now is uh, import it into a uh, miniverse.io slash object slash objects. All right. So let's do this. Uh, we choose a file. So this is my uh, um, the object file, uh, SLT file um, that includes the 3D model. I call I called it just my obj, and I'm gonna click and use it. Now uh, it was imported into a, a miniverse.io, and I got an object code. So let's type this object code into the app. The code. So let's do this. The code is uh, P four P K W and two, and we're gonna load it. Now it's gonna pull it from the server. Load, downloading. All right. All right, let's see, let's take a look. Yeah, I don't remember doing this, but this is one of the, the 3D models that I have on the computer. I think it's an AR over there. Yeah. Yeah, so this is it. That's how you import uh, 3D models into this uh, really cool uh, viewer. And you can share it with other people who have the Merge Cube. Of course, there are many other um, 3D model sharing apps and you know, very popular ones like Sketchfab that you can just spawn them on surfaces and or just view them on, the, on your device. They have millions of models, many of them, <laughs> and uh, very popular. Uh, but this is just another way where you can just uh, view models and and control and rotate it using the merge cube and uh, I like it it's pretty nice yeah so this is it let's see if we have another other options um, so here I can see my objects it doesn't show it to me although I have one it's kind of weird oh I see it in shared objects okay so I can load something for example, the cake. All right, uh, this is the cake, and I can just uh, load the one that I loaded, imported. Pretty cool. Oh, uh, there's another option to record uh, a video. Let me let me try it right now. So this video is captured using the built-in uh, screen recorder of the app, and uh, let's see how it works. So this one is captured using the built-in screen recorder inside the MatchCube uh, viewer app. Let's start. Oh, there's one more thing that I missed. You can see there's edit. If I click it, there's an edit. So let's click edit. 
all right so now it allows me to take a thumbnail you see I can scale it all right okay so oh this is cool so you can scale it oh my god this is so cool and you can rotate it uh, move it so it's all relative to the cube so you see I just moved it and I, when I pick it up it's relative to the cube so I can for example uh, move it more to the side you see it's outside of the region but it's pivoted uh, to the cube so let's click done and now look I picking it up you see oh this is so cool this is so cool you feel like you're holding something uh, so um, you can take a thumbnail all right uh, let's do this all right uh, oh yeah this is the thumbnail and you can reset it you can scale it all right so let's try to uh, bring up the ship remember the ship all right so this is the ship and not uh, let's remove this one and all right now what we are going to do we're gonna click we're gonna click edit we're gonna scale the ship of course we're gonna scale it ah this is beautiful let's done and let's hold it let's hold it oh my god behold wow oh, this is beautiful now you're talking oh my god i'm holding a big spaceship in my hand so cool right so cool and you can make it even larger i don't know what size let's actually try you know what i'm talking about let's try to scale it let's get crazy okay there's oh there's oh it what oh it's flipped around okay uh i need no it didn't wait okay 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 all right all right oh i think there's a limit but let's see come on come on detect oh my god okay this is too big <laughs> i needed to try it's very 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 big oh my god insane okay uh reset <laughs> nice scale it so yeah so that's the thing yeah uh, by the way uh, to scale it you just need to uh uh, swipe right and left so this is it okay so this is a really cool feature I just found out about it after uh, uh, you know at the end so it's really cool this is it if you want a piece of this uh, experience all you need is to download the app it's free uh, from Google Play or uh, from the App Store if you're using a uh, iPhone or iPad and of course you need a Merge Cube uh, accessory for this uh, that's it. If you have those, you can try this out for yourself and enjoy. Have fun. See you guys on the next video. I hope you like this and I'll bring you more cool uh, augmented reality stuff uh, very soon. Bye-bye.